So let's take a look at where you might see or hear some of these cultural references in your daily life in the U.S. and a little bit more about their background. Watch this clip of the dentist lecturing Ralph for not flossing his teeth. How often do you brush, Ralph? Three times a day, sir. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? You're right. I don't brush. <laughs> I don't brush. So why must you turn my office into a house of lies uh, has become a really popular quote. Uh, I actually heard it a lot before I even realized it was from The Simpsons. So this is a quote that you might hear pop up in you know, movies or TV shows, or you might hear some of your friends just say it randomly. So the whole reason that Homer was worried about losing his dental insurance is because Lisa needs braces. And that's actually a concern for a lot of American families because a lot of kids will get braces in the US. I myself had them for six years. Um, now a lot of TV shows and movies show people getting teased because of their braces. That never happened to me and it didn't happen to anyone else that I knew that had braces. Um, probably because by then it was just so common for you know teenagers and preteens to have them that it didn't really make sense to tease people over them. Uh, they were actually kind of cool because you could get different color rubber bands and every time you went to the orthodontist you could change out the colors and you would go maybe like once a month or once every two months so you could actually like choose colors based on the season or on an upcoming holiday. Now usually kids will wear braces because since their bones are still developing it's easier to do dental modification on them when they're young. But in recent years more adults have been getting braces. Now because orthodontic work is really expensive some companies like the Smile Direct Club have popped up which will send people a kit to make a mold of their mouth, uh, which they then send back into the company, and then the company will make um, plastic invisible braces for the client to wear. And then that slowly um, you know, changes the position of the client's teeth. These are getting more and more popular. I'm not really sure how I feel about them because you don't actually go to an orthodontist who looks at your mouth and figures out what your specific problem is. And it's very rarely that your teeth are just crooked. There's typically other things going on, like maybe your jaw's a little too small or you know, too narrow, too wide, that require more complicated procedures. I myself had an upper jaw that was too small, <laughs> so I had to get uh, this spreader put in on the roof of my mouth. And every morning I had to take this little key and twist it to slowly expand my jaw. Um, it was very painful. <laughs> but it did end up making it so there was enough room in my mouth for my teeth. So in the long run, it was worth it. Now you've probably noticed that Americans care a lot about how their teeth look. And that's possibly because culturally we tend to smile a lot. Like it's not unusual to be walking down the street and for some stranger to look at you and smile and give a little wave. Um, they're not looking to talk to you, but <laughs> we'll still smile when we pass people. And I was reading an article in The Atlantic that said one of the reasons that Americans smile so much is because we're a nation of immigrants. So not all of us, you know, speak the same language. So we rely a lot on nonverbal communication like smiling. Uh, I think that's a really nice reason for why we're so obsessed with how our teeth look. So one of the jokes in this episode references Jimmy Hoffa. As a union leader, he did a lot of illegal things and ended up going to jail for bribery, mail fraud, and a host of other illegal activities. Um, and he was eventually pardoned by President Nixon, who was also a criminal. But despite how famously corrupt he was, the thing that Jimmy Hoffa is most famous for is the fact that no one knows where he is. <laughs> so while everyone agrees that Jimmy Hoffa was murdered and he was probably murdered by the mob, there's a whole lot of stories about where he could possibly be. One of the most famous ones is that he is currently buried beneath the giant stadium in New York. The people that built the stadium said that he's not there. <laughs> There's no evidence that he's there, but that's still one of the most famous theories. Other theories include him being pushed out of a helicopter above one of the Great Lakes, or him being killed and stuffed in an oil drum, which was then dropped in the Florida wetlands. 
Watch this clip of Lisa at Picture Day. Button down those cowlicks. Straighten that part. Uncross those eyes, mister. But I can't. Oh, sorry, Quigley. Come on, honey, smile. So Picture Day is something that they do at every American public school, and it's the day when the students get their individual pictures taken. Now, typically you're supposed to wear something nicer than usual, and you're supposed to have your hair nice and neat. One of the cool things about Picture Day is that you got to pick your own background, so I would always get the laser background. You would then order different sizes of the pictures, so you could get an 8x10 that your parents could hang on the wall, or you could get different wallet sizes. Now, I don't know how it was at other schools, but me and my friends would usually get the wallet size pictures and then trade with each other. 